This video is going to make mastering easy. If you're a podcaster, keep watching. Okay, so for podcasts, Adobe Audition is fantastic. I've got a music track here. I can actually label it as such, music. And I've got my host track up here. And I have finished editing this podcast in multi-track, making all the little edits and moving things out and fading my music nicely. But now I'd like to finalize this mix and get it the best it can be before I upload it to my podcast host. Let's listen to what I've got. As the intro. Hello, this is Mike Russell. Welcome to my first podcast episode that I'd like to master so it really sounds its best. Let's do the effects. Okay, so let's do the effects indeed. What do we do? Well, now we've done everything we need to on tracks one and two, the host and music track, we want to go ahead and add some effects on the mix track. Now, this is the overall mix of all of our tracks. So if it's voice and music, it'll mix those together and put the finalizer effects on. So when I've selected the mix track, go into your effects rack, all the effects I add will be applied to both the music and the voice track combined. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to special and mastering. My favorite preset here is subtle clarity. Make sure to take the reverb off though. You don't want reverb. Let's listen to the difference. <laughs> Hello, this is Mike Russell. Welcome to my first podcast episode that I'd like to master and then so on. it really sounds its best. So as you can hear, the subtle clarity mastering has just compressed it a little bit and boosted the clarity and overall mix of my podcast. So a great way to get started once, of course, you've added all your track effects, as you've seen in other videos of mine, like EQ and compression to the host and maybe some hard limiting or leveling to the music bed so it's not too loud in the mix. The mastering won't fix any problems you've got so fix them first but it will add the subtle clarity and crispiness to your podcast the next thing you're going to want to do to really make this stand out and be optimized for your podcast streaming platform you're going to want to go into the mix channel again and you want to go to special again and look for the loudness meter now this is a relatively new effect in audition and it's designed for the modern age such as youtube and podcasting and it's great in the effect you can drop it down and look for your podcast platform. Whether you're uploading this as a podcast on Apple or whether it's going straight to Spotify, you can get the preset you need for your podcast to make sure it's the right loudness. Now, why are we interested in loudness at all? Well, loudness is simply the perceived overall volume of your podcast to the human ear. And platforms such as Spotify, YouTube, and Apple use this preset to determine that your podcast will sound about the same in volume as the next podcast and the one before you, so the listener doesn't have to keep turning up and down the volume. Let's find out how it works here. Say I'm uploading this as an Apple podcast. That's applied. We'll look at settings and it tells me the target loudness for this show should be minus 16 luffs. Let's go back to levels and watch the integrated meter as I play back. Hello, this is Mike Russell. Welcome to my first podcast episode that I'd like to master so it really sounds its best. Let's do the... Now, you can see here that I'm at an integrated level of minus 16.8. That's great. It was going above slightly for short term, but integrated is where we're looking for here. And you can see maybe I'm a decibel out. Now, if I wanted to, I can move the loudness meter down one and I could add in an amplify effect under amplitude and compression. And I could just ever so slightly maybe boost up the overall mix by less than a decibel, 0.82 dB. And then very important, I need to reset the meters using this button here and play back. Hello, this is Mike Russell. Welcome to my first podcast episode that I'd like to master so it really sounds its best. Now, as you can see, I'm going into the orange. I'm ever so close to the range I want to be. So I'm going to bring this down to 0.7 dB boost. And let's cross that out, reset the meters and try again. Hello, this is Mike Russell. Welcome to my first podcast episode that I'd like to master so it really sounds its best. Let there we go. And as you can see right there, the integrated loudness over a period of 10 seconds is bang on pretty much minus 16 luffs. So that means my show is ready to export and upload as a podcast. It's as simple as that. There is an automated way of using the loudness meter, and I'm going to show you that in a moment. But say I was happy with all these settings, I can then go to file, 
export straight from the multi-track and I want to export right now so that it's ready to upload. So the multi-track mix down the entire session and here I can select MP3. I can also select my format settings. So maybe I want 128 kilobits per second, which is absolutely perfect. And then I click OK obviously giving my file a name and a location to save it. And once I've done that, it's ready to upload to my host. If I want to do automated loudness matching, then all I need to do is go to multi-track, mix down, entire session, get it as a mix down file here, track uh, podcast master mix down one, there it is. And then I go into the window menu and I look for the match loudness window. I can then drag it in here, use the magnifying glass to find out, well, I'm on minus 16 luffs as I expected. But if I wasn't, if I wanted to export it to a different setting, I could go to export settings here. I could choose what I want to give it there. But most importantly, and this is the really important thing, I can actually go ahead and pop this window up and choose my target loudness. So minus 23 might be what I'm going for. Run it and boom, it's going to change everything to minus 23 LUFs. So it's ready for another platform. Really easy to do. Quick ways of exporting your podcast and making sure it's ready to be heard by the masses with just a few effects. If you've got any questions, let me know down below. And well, you really must like Audition if you've watched this for a while. So why not go and watch my other video about what Adobe Audition can do? It's really good. Go and watch it now.